hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so we're going to be doing a full set of long nails with the burberry design so right now i'm starting off with pushing back the cuticles then i'm going to go ahead and prep prep the nails for nail tips make sure when you are nail prepping that you are dehydrating and making sure there's no oils you don't have to dig on the customer's nails but you need to buff the nails enough to where the oils and the shine is completely gone Now I'm going to go in with my tips. So these are stiletto shaped tips. Um, I've been liking these for long nails because I like the sturdiness. I like how thick they are and how easy it is for me to get the shape. Of course, I'm probably not going to stay this long. I'm going to cut them down. But I've been using these tips for certain looks and I like them. I really do. I got these on eBay and Amazon. Even AliExpress has them. They're just basic clear stiletto nail tips. After I have cut the sides, I'm going to go in with my hand file. I'm using a jumbo coarse file. 
Um, I really like these because the file is very sturdy so I can file the nails and not like the file won't bend or anything like that. When you're doing coffin nails, um, she wanted hers a little more skinny so I cut the sides and I'm going in with my file at an angle and I'm making sure to completely blend and file from the free edge to the tip of the nail. That's why if you see I start from slightly underneath the nail and then I go towards the side of the nail. So a tip that I've been using is I've been applying one coat of um, the dehydrator or the bonder and then I go in with two coats of primer. I did skip that part just to speed up the video but I always do one coat of um, bonder and two coats of primer. Now I'm going in with my acrylic. Um, normally how I apply acrylic is I put a pretty large size bead on the free edge and then I'm feathering it down with my brush so instead of completely wiping it off the nail I'm just lightly feathering it so that the acrylic will continue to stick to, to the nail but it'll also move and carry down the well down the nail as well um, that way I can continue with the thickness and then I can even blend the acrylic also When you apply acrylic, I like to apply my acrylic when the primer is wet. So um, I normally do my second layer of primer um, while I'm applying the acrylic. It'll help the adhering of the acrylic to the nail. Also a tip for applying acrylic, I typically will do the two ball method or even the three ball method depending on how big the nail is. I can do a separate vi video on the balls or the liquid to ratio um, if you guys want to leave it down in the comments but I apply acrylic by visually seeing it so one client I might do two balls next client I might do three I just apply by how I want the nail to look like here I'm looking at it from side to side I'm checking it to see where the thickness is if the apex is there if the arch is there and I'm just making sure that the nail is completely transitioning down the nail so there's no like lumps or bumps or even divots in parts where I might have missed putting acrylic.
I will add, many have been asking me, um, I do make my own acrylic blend for it to be slightly pink this way. I don't like super pink and I don't like really clear because sometimes clear can get um, dirty or it can turn colors with certain polishes. My acrylic is in a CND container, but it is not just CND, so I will say that. But find what acrylic works best for you. My typical go to's are CND, Young Nails, and Tammy Taylor. Now the cuticle bit I am using is a um, fine gold bit which is a flat head. Now they do have some bits which are the safety bits so the top of it are, is round. Um, I use either or just depends on what I'm doing. Um, now I do like to use this one for when I'm getting close to the cuticle but the thing is it's so sharp you really have to be careful and make sure that you know what you're doing. If you are a beginner and you are trying to figure out how to use the drill I would not use a flat head bit. I would use all safety bits or cone bits that have the roundness on the top so that you're not cutting your customer or making a bloody mess because I do not like blood. So when you're going around the cuticle, make sure you're being very careful. You should only be really filing on top of the acrylic. So even though the acrylic is by the cuticle area, there's no reason why you should be filing on top of the skin because you're only filing the acrylic that's um, in front of the cuticle. 
So I like to go under the nail and create a little bit of a C-curve and just clean up any acrylic that has got under there. And then I also like to go on the sides and in the cuticle area as well. But make sure you are taking your time. Be very, very, very careful. I did not speed this up. This is my normal speed. I think I didn't speed it up. I'm not sure. But normally when I do this, I am kind of fast, but that's because I've been doing nails for so long and I'm used to it. But if you have to hand file the cuticle area until you get comfortable with the drill, hand file. Do what is comfortable for you and your customer. Safety comes first. All right, after I have filed, buffed, and have my customer rinse her hands, remember before you apply gel polish, you do not want to apply any oil, soaps, or lotion. Just have them rip, rinse with water. You can even use acetone or alcohol. Just, you know, be careful and make sure the nail is dry before you apply your polish. I'm going in with two coats of polish. We're going for a Burberry look. She had a picture, and I'm going just with the picture. I am using Black Licorice by d and and I believe that is cinnamon. Oh, I can't even see what that says. Something cinnamon. Cinnamon buttercup or something. I don't know. But they're both pretty cool polishes. After two coats of polish, I'm going to wipe them down with alcohol. And then I'm going to go in um, and do my design. Okay, so for my nail art, I typically like to use acrylic paints. I really love acrylic paints. They're very cheap and inexpensive. You can get them at Walmart, any craft store, even sometimes the dollar store. They're normally about 50 cents to maybe like a dollar or a dollar and two cents, depending on like how big they are. But majority of mine, I've gotten them for 50 cents to a dollar. But I really like these because they are very inexpensive. They dry very quickly and very easily. And applying a gel top coat and even a regular top coat does not mess up the design or do anything to the design. They dry easily and they're just all around good for nail art. And then on top of that, I really love the fact that if you're doing gel on the nails, let's say I was to like mess up like how I did there, it's easy to clean without messing up the nail. So yeah, I love my acrylic paint. I'm going with the picture on her phone and I'm just working my magic.
after I have done the, the design and made sure the nails were dry, I'm going in with my Top It Off by Gelish, and I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds in light, and then I'm going to wipe that off with alcohol so that the nails will not be sticky. Alright guys, I really hope you like this video. I would love for you to join the Loyal Royal family. If you are watching this video and you enjoyed this video and you got tips from this video, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. So, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Tell me what you want to see for the next video. I do have an AliExpress haul coming soon with lots of nail goodies. So be looking out for that. I'm just waiting for everything to come in and then we will go from there. So don't forget, glitter makes everything better. So keep shining. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.